Christian friends, it is so good to be with you again today uh, to go into the Word of God, to find some, some food for our souls, some spiritual strength. It's there. The universe is full of everything that we need, Amen. but we have to reach out to it. And I'm very happy to be with Dr. Lefebvre, as always, a man of God Pastor. that's going to have a good word uh, for us today. And I want to thank you for responding to him, because the more you respond to him, it it keeps him going and motivating and working, you know, for the Lord and getting some spirit food out to the people out there. So today, what I'm looking at, I want everybody, and I mean it in my soul and in my heart, to be set free from the power of sin, from the power of the flesh, the power of self, Amen. the power of our thoughts. I want us to be set free. And um, to the born again people out there, to the Christians, I I feel that we need uh, something for for like a motto for us every day. You know what I got in mind for us today? What I got in mind? I want us to have a song of redemption. Uh, let's make it our song. The Amen. song of redemption, getting up every day and letting redemption be our refrain, just getting up. And join me with that. Let's do it. Make it a habit Amen. to get up and say, I'm redeemed, and I've been redeemed. And after the ones listen to this message today, if you have not been delivered from the captivity uh, of the enemy of your soul, there's an enemy out there, and he wants to keep us caught up. Uh, in our feelings and in our flesh and in our ego so he can have more control of us. But, you know, we're going to rise above that. So let us pray today. Father God, in the precious name of Jesus, Lord, thank you for your word, God, for these enduring principles that you have given us in your word. It's for everybody out there, Lord. You want people to know, Lord, how much you love them in the name of Jesus, Lord. And for those who struggle, and some are struggling, Lord, a great deal, and they're still trying to win the battle themselves, God, in the name of Jesus, Lord. But help people to know the day with the guidance of the Holy Spirit. And we need to know how it works. And you can learn uh, if you don't really know uh, how the Holy Spirit works in one life to set us free and we can be guided by the Holy Spirit. Uh, there's a Holy Spirit, my friends, yes. just like there is an evil spirit. But guess what? We want to be guided by the Holy Spirit of God. And I want to just touch and agree that we all come out that bondage yes. of sin. And look, my friends, you know, right. for you too, that you love the Lord and you're a good Christian, you go to church, you worship and you pray, but sometimes you find yourself in the grips of uh, of bad feelings and bad thoughts. But, you know, let's fight against that today. You know, sing your song of redemption yes. from now on in Jesus' name. It's time to be set free from that captivity. Amen. So in the in introduction of this message today, uh, I want to give you about three scriptures, and I want you to just conceptualize these spirits, these these verses, and let them become a part of your life, and just understand them and use them. If you don't use the word, it, it won't be any good. It's like medicine. So look what these three verses say. Galatians five sixteen, my friend. I just told you in our prayer that if we learn to be guided by the Spirit, we would never be controlled by these uh, feelings and thoughts that are not good for us because we are all feeling human beings. We are born that way. And if we don't have the Spirit, the feelings will win out every time. Read the Word of God for us, Dr. LaFaber. Galatians chapter number 5, verse number 16. Sixteen, And the word of the Lord says, This I say mm -hmm. then, walk in the Spirit, yes. and ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. As human beings, we're going to have this temptation. We're going to have this drive to do things that we know uh, that are not good for us. Sometimes we find it very difficult to 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 you know to have victory over the intrusive thoughts you know thoughts that that just not good it does not make us feel good we want to get rid of that we want to get rid of the uh, the the things that hold us back we don't want our anxiety to overtake us we don't want uh our, we want to just what crucify our selfish nature that's what I'm looking for 
crucifying that uh, uh, nature, that selfish nature, because it is selfish. But you know something, when we learn about God and we get redemption, then we can say, I've been redeemed. Amen. The way I used to feel, the way I used to thought, think, the way I used to walk, the way I used to talk. I don't walk that way no more. And the things that held me back in the past, they don't hold me back anymore. They don't hold me back. Those old feelings, those habits of the past. Look, I'm, you can say I'm able now. Amen. I've been redeemed from that. Oh, uh, Ella LaFaber, your next verse. What does it say? In the word of God, my friends, the word of God is real. Look how much sense it makes. This is practical. Read it. Amen. Galatians chapter 5, verse number 24. And the word of the Lord says, and they that are Christ yeah. have crucified the flesh with the affections and lusts. See, it goes right back to the verse we just read. Because what really happens when we've been redeemed, you know, you will still have feelings. We still have emotions, uh, uh, but we are, we are emotional beings. But when God sets us free and, and, and put Christ in us, and we learn to live by the Holy Spirit, then we're not controlled Amen. by those, uh, I call those negative, destructive passions that we wind up doing things and thinking ways that we don't want to do. Sometimes we find up, wind up treating ourselves and treating people the way we don't really want to treat them. Amen. But we got to be set free. Your next verse. Our next verse is... In Romans chapter number 8, verse number 2, the scripture says, For the law Praise of God. the spirit of life in Christ Jesus mm -hmm. had made me free from the law of sin and death. Now, I'm coming back and read that again, my friends, because this is so important. Uh, these verses, and especially this one, because it is the law of the Holy Spirit. Now, a lot of people don't know well, hardly anything about the Holy Spirit and the empowerment of it and how it can guide us. And this Holy Spirit will help every person who surrender to the Lord Jesus Christ and follow his teaching. This Spirit is available to us. Think about it. Think about it. Think about it, young man, young woman. We all need this Holy Spirit of God. We Amen. need it. And, and look, look at it. Look what the words say. This is easy to understand. Look at what this scripture say. Read it again. This is yours. Embrace it, my friend. Let this scripture give you hope and make you feel good and make you feel better. Because I know now, look, before I read this scripture, that a lot of you good Christians, you're not singing a song of redemption every day because we ought to be able to say every day, I'm redeemed. You know what that should be? It should be a testimony. It should be. I read what I'm really saying. Let us have a testimony. Amen. That I've been redeemed. And when we can say that from the bottom of my heart, when we can say I, I've been redeemed, Amen. it's going to touch people whenever we really can say it from our heart. Now read this again. we got to be under control of the Spirit. we got to learn this. Come on. Romans 8 and 2 says, For the law of the Spirit of life in Christ. It's, it's the law. It's the law. It's a spiritual law. Come on. In Christ in had Christ. made me free. Made me free. Come on. From the law of sin and death. See that? A lot of people have no idea that we can be set free of all those old feelings and thoughts and ideas that, that we've been stuck with for all of our life and look like we're never going to get rid of it. And we really can't get rid of these things uh, without surrender to Christ. And then we have a new song. You can sing, I am redeem that is our testimony thank you dr favor i'm excited and i want you to come and share this great word that you have with us today thank you pastor Praise for god. always inspiring us with the word of god today and we Amen. are truly excited about what god is going to do in this message today our theme that we're dealing with is the power of redemption and Pastor began this message by encouraging us from the scripture, letting us know that we can learn, know that we can learn to walk in the spirit. What is he yes. telling us? We can walk in the power of the Holy Spirit. Scripture says you shall receive power mm -hmm. after the Holy Spirit has come upon you. So for that true believer, you're watching us today. You may not be walking in all of the power that you have access to, but when we begin to allow the Holy Spirit to take control, the passions that used to control us are no longer going to be able to win over us. And then lastly, he said that we need a testimony of redemption. 
Oh boy, when we have a testimony of redemption, it not only helps us, it helps others. When we tell them, Pastor, how God Absolutely, has delivered uh, you, us. You hear those words of redemption, and people tell you straight up, look, I've been redeemed. I've been redeemed, man. That, that touches people. Absolutely. I agree with you. I love what the Bible says in Galatians 5 and 1 from the Message Bible. It says this, Christ, know this, <laughs> Christ has set us free. Oh, praise God. To live a free life. Know this, Christ set us free to live a life of freedom Amen. and liberty. Liberty in our mind, liberty in our actions, in our emotions, and just liberty to be who he created us to be. It says Christ has set us free. Why? To live a life. So take your stand. What are you saying? I need you to start standing. There's a saying that if we don't stand for something, we'll mm -hmm. fall for anything. He said, never again let anyone put a harness of slavery mm -hmm. on you, Pastor. You got to say, look, I'm not going back. I think I've heard that refrain here recently, but I'm not going back. We are not going back. And see, I'll tell you one thing, my friends. Once we ever uh, become redeemed because we trust God's word, then we won't get in the yoke of bondage again to sin. Isn't that good news? That's, Amen. That is good news. That is good news, Pastor. Isn't As you listen news? to us today, we have good news for you. Did you know that God sent Jesus into the world to free us and liberate us from the power of sin? I know sin can be so powerful, and when we get in the grips of sin, it's hard to let go. I was talking to a young lady this week, and she was telling me how she was in bondage to fear, and fear kept her from stepping out, just really stepping out, being the mother that she needs to be. Fear kept her in bondage to reaching her full potential, and she said one day she decided to just step out in faith. And when she stepped out in faith, she was free from that change that was holding her bound. And even as she talked to me, I can begin to see the tears welling up as she shared her testimony of redemption. And that inspired me because I know that fear can keep us from receiving God's best for our lives. And many times people, we and she goes to church, you know, people go to church, but you know what? It's one thing to go to church or to a religious place, but it's another thing where we can be free and liberated to be who God called us to be, Pastor. You know, Dr. Faber, there is no doubt that uh, fear is a powerful foe. It is a powerful foe, and only God can redeem us. But I think about this long young lady you're talking about. It tells me, my friend, and it should tell you, that one day she tried, decided to trust Jesus, Amen. to trust Jesus for deliverance and salvation, and she stepped out. Amen through just trust, right in the midst of the feelings, stepped out in that, and guess what? She found power, and she found liberation. Amen. He'll do it for you, too. So what do we mean by the power of redemption? Praise God. You know what this means? That God wants to restore us mm -hmm. back to a right relationship with Praise God, God the Father, and with Jesus Christ. You know, it's a beautiful thing when we're restored mm -hmm to right relationships. Many of you, you may have experienced that in a broken relationship in a family or a loved one. You know, that forgiveness, that when that forgiveness was in place and someone was sincerely sorry, that relationship was mended. The same thing with our Heavenly Father. Sin separates us from God. And the only way that we can get from beneath the weight of sin and be beneath all of those chains, to be receive freedom is to say, Jesus, I need you to forgive me. And when you do that by faith, it's a liberating thing to be set free. See, and when we're set free, we can reach our full potential, Pastor. Absolutely, Dr. Faber. We need the great liberator. We need Jesus Christ. That's what he came to the world to set us free. It's in the Bible from the power of sin. Set us free from that. So we could be overcomers and move forward in the spirit from now on and never, never, never go back to the bondage of the flesh. See, this word redemption, uh, Pastor, according to the Bible, when you redeem something, mm -hmm. redeem refers to God's merciful mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. costly action on behalf of his people. Um, as seen in the Bible, we have all perhaps yes, heard the yes, story yes, of yes. the deliverance of the children yes, of Israel Lord. from uh, yes. bondage. We've heard Praise this story. Mm -hmm. It's in the Bible. In Acts chapter 6, uh, verse 6, 
B, you can go back and read the full passage, but it says this, I will redeem you mm -hmm. with an outstretched Praise arm God. and with a mighty acts of judgment. And the Amplified Bible says this, this way, Pastor. Mm -hmm. Therefore says, say to the children of Israel, I'm the Lord and I will bring you out from under the burdens of the Egyptians mm -hmm. and I will free you. I'll free you from their bondage. I'll redeem you and rescue you with an outstretched, vigorous, powerful arm and with a great act of redemption. You know, that tells us, my friend, look, you out there today, you, I'm talking specifically to that person that you're still stuck and you don't see no way out. And there's no way out. So you can forgive, put the past behind. You can forgive everybody, everybody. You can forgive everybody and forgive yourself and step up toward a new life. And that freedom can come because Jesus' hand is stretched out, not his physical hand, but in this whole universe, his hands reaches the whole universe. He want to reach out and pull you in, pull you in, so you can have this song of redemption and be a blessing of yourself. And you can go the rest of your life having your personal testimony. I am redeemed. I am redeemed. I am redeemed. Go ahead. Thank you, Pastor. We can sing that song of redemption, but know this, <laughs> Christ, God will have to deliver us. Notice mm -hmm. in this text, he said, God says, I will. You, I Three like times in I this text, you, you know, he said, I will. And mm -hmm. perhaps you're watching today and we've tried to do it ourselves. And I know that when we try, many times we stay stuck. It's like mm -hmm. being on a treadmill. We're going mm -hmm. and we're in the same place. Mm -hmm. We're not moving forward because we're doing it ourselves. But you know, God wants to deliver us. And you know, in this text, no matter what Israel yeah. tried, yeah. they could not deliver themselves. Mm -hmm. So they needed a divine deliverer. As you watch us today, you may be stuck. We've been stuck before, but God can free you. You may be stuck in despondency. Mm -hmm. Yes, you go to church, but there's still more. Stuck in emotions, stuck in certain feelings, holding on to things of the past. Like this woman I told you, needed to be free Praise from God. fear to move forward. So perhaps what's keeping us in Praise bondage God. is our reliance upon ourselves as opposed to the almighty outstretched hand of God. As you listen to us, are you trusting in the outstretched hand, delivering hand of God today? That's right, doctor. Look, child of God, child of God, you know, out there, think about that. You know, you, you're a nice person. You're a good person. God love you. But have you ever thought about how temperamental you are? Have you ever thought about how easy you are to get upset and how you can go sometimes from zero Amen. to nine or ten in just that quick, you know. And you know how sometimes that, that you still uh, uh, say it's everybody else's fault that you say sometimes, and you haven't been able to take accountability for anything. And you know why? Because uh, you have not been made free from Amen. that, and you're still stuck. Some people are still stuck in bad habits out there. Some people are still using drugs, and some some are still drinking, and, and this stuff have, has had a bad outcome from you, and it still is. But you have not been able to get yourself out. You can't. Yeah. God loves you. He wants you to, you to come out of all of these things. All of these things. Some of you have not been able to forgive. And, and, and we, when you should, but you can't do it yourself. But only God, only yeah. God, he redeems us. And then the one day you can start to say and tell others, I've been redeemed for all of these, uh, these thoughts and, and these feelings of the past. Uh, they no longer control me. They're there, but they don't control anymore. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Go ahead, Doc. For our closing verse, First Praise Peter God. 1, 1, 18 and 19 mm -hmm. from the Good News Translation, it says this, for you, talking Praise to God. us, Thank you, Jesus. you know mm -hmm. what was paid mm -hmm. to set you free Praise from God. the worthless Thank manner God. of a life mm -hmm. handed down by your ancestors. Mm -hmm. It was not something that can be destroyed, such as silver, or gold, it was the costly sacrifice of Christ, mm -hmm. who was like a lamb without defect or without flaw, Pastor. You know what? He paid the price because sin and Satan was never, never going to release the people. Never, ever, never. It, it was, they, we could never have gotten back to reconnect it to God like many of us did, are today 
and we love the word, we walk with God. It is all because of Jesus. God sent his son Amen. while we were still yet sinners. He died uh, excruciating death on the cross for us. But you got to be aware that it was a great price. It was a great price. And that's why somebody made a song. How much do I owe you? How much? Because you just think about it. I must owe you something for this great price. No, it's, it's a free gift. But you have to receive it. Now, come on, friend out there. Know that there is redemption for you. Thank you, Dr. LaFaber. There is redemption for you. You can be redeemed. And let us be able to sing our song from now on. Let's begin to say, it's our testimony. <laughs> say, I got a testimony. I got a testimony. We put my testimony. I've been redeemed. And I want you to do from now on, begin to tell some people what you begin to, what you are redeemed from. Be able to tell your sisters, your brothers, or your children, your, if you got grandchildren, tell them what you've been redeemed from. If you're married, and, and tell your husband what you're redeemed from. And then tell the church. Tell the temple. Tell the synagogue, whatever it is, what you've been redeemed from. And tell it, tell it, tell it. Thank you, Pastor, for inspiring us. Mm -hmm. There's a little song that <laughs> is a powerful testimony, and it goes something like this. Seems like all I could see was a struggle. Praise God. Haunted by a ghost that lived in my past. Go ahead and tell them that. Bound up in shackles of all my failures. Mm -hmm. Wondering how long Thank is you, this Jesus. gonna last? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. But when you looked at the sinner, Thank you, Jesus. you say to me, son, Thank you, Jesus. stop fighting a fight. Thank it's you, already Lord. been won. Thank you, Jesus. I am redeemed. Mm -hmm. You set me free, so I'll shake off these heavy chains, wipe away every stain. Thank you, I'm man. not who I used to be. Great. I am redeemed. That's Are you redeemed today? Mm -hmm. Do you know that we can shake off these heavy chains and mm -hmm. wipe away every stain that we can be who Christ has Praise created God. us to be. God has a purpose mm -hmm. and God has a plan for our lives and we can reach that purpose. And our focus today, it should be on God. Why? Because he has set us free from the power of sin. So let's not focus Praise on God. the things of this world. Let's focus on the precious blood of Jesus that has redeemed us. Have you made that commitment today? Well, final instructions from our pastor that can help you today. My friends, look, just cry out today and ask God to help. Just say, help, Lord. Help me, God. There's so much stress, God. Uh, there's so much uh, indifference. There's so much uh, pain and troubles and trials. There's so many things, God. Help me, Lord. Redeem me, Amen. God. Redeem me. Redeem me and give him thanks and let that become your testimony. I tell you, we can find that. Go to Psalm 107, verse 2, and let the redeemed the of the Lord say, say so. so. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Thank you, my friends. Thank you, Pastor, for inspiring us. Today, if you're watching or listening and you've not made that commitment, Praise the God. first thing that we must do is say, Jesus, forgive me of my sins. I believe you died on the cross for me, and I want a personal relationship. I receive you as Praise Lord God. and Savior. From this time forth, I belong to you. Thank you and Jesus. when you do that by faith, you are a child of God, and Praise you God. receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. You, and find a good Bible teaching church where you can go and grow to be who God has called you to be. If you're ever in South Florida, look us up you, at the Universal Christian Church of Christ. You'll have a wonderful time. And also to our new subscribers, thank yes. you for subscribing to our channel. And if you have not, please hit the subscribe bell that you can receive our weekly messages when we post them. Praise well, God. remember that God has a purpose. He has a plan for you. And remember, the Lord loves you and so do I. May God bless you until next time. Praise God.